Now, the official Sun Coast weather with ABC7 meteorologist John Scalzi. Looking at a very, very beautiful afternoon. 78 degrees the air temperature dew point still in the 50s, barely, but still there. We have a uh, southwest wind now at about 8, and I think that'll probably carry that dew point above the 60 degree mark as we head into the afternoon. But still, plenty of sunshine around, beautiful temperatures, and with that southwesterly wind, the coastline is going to stay just a little bit cooler today than it has over the last couple of days. 80 Wachula, 80 Arcadia, 80 Mayaki, Mayaka. Inland areas will not benefit from the sea breeze, obviously, as much as along the coastline. So temperatures here will be closer to where they were yesterday in the mid 80s. 80 degrees in Bradenton Parish, 78 Lakewood Ranch, Venice, Slinglewood coming in at 76, 79 in Northport and 78 in Punta Gorda. Across the region, we have very little in the way of any kind of weather across the peninsula of the state. Things are very quiet, very tranquil, still some dry air in place, high pressure building in from the Atlantic. But in the panhandle, we have a kind of a frontal boundary that's stretched all the way up the eastern seaboard. It's in the process of leaving the eastern seaboard, and it's kind of composed of a couple of different impulses. The northern Gulf Coast impulse is kind of weakening, falling apart. Nothing here that will be classified as severe weather. But back here in Texas, there is a section of that frontal boundary that will eventually develop a low pressure area and help bring the cold front through our area finally. But until then, that low pressure, that frontal boundary is going to be locked up to the north, not really going much of anywhere, going what we call zonal from west to east without much north-south motion. And that's pretty typical of fronts at this time of year. It'll take that low pressure area back to the west to develop and move in this direction and finally push a cold front through here on Thursday and Friday. And that will just clear everything out in time for the weekend. So looks good. Rain-free skies for today. The sea breeze will bring a cooler coast and the front stays to the north for a couple more days. That are your, is the weather highlights for you know, probably the next couple of days, actually. Look at the RPM computer model. We'll put it into motion. You say we still stay fairly clear for a couple of days. Maybe a few scattered showers down on the very southern tip of the state where moisture is higher. And we watch this frontal boundary kind of stalled out and trace out the low pressure area developing and watch its progression as it moves toward the east toward us. I think probably Thursday night into Friday day is going to be the best chance of seeing showers around here as that low pressure area advances and brings its cold front with it. But hopefully, and, and the models seem to suggest this, everything clears out of here just in time for the weekend. Southeast wind has switched southwest, stays west right straight through the evening. Ten knots currently will subside a bit during the overnight. Nice day for boating, really. Two foot seas, light chop. It's a little quieter than it was 24 hours ago. A couple of tides. We had a 10 o'clock low tide. High tide won't come until 4, so we're kind of in between the two. Then another low tide comes after the midnight hour at 1.13. And the official Sun Coast forecast looks pretty good. Next couple of days, we keep our temperatures slightly lower because of a sea breeze and a southwest wind developing. And then Thursday and Friday, we have that chance of showers. I don't think it's going to be a big deal. Total rainfall amounts will not be that great. And most of the activity stays to our north. And then it all clears out and leaves us a beautiful weekend. Scott?